Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are using geometry nodes to assign multiple colors to our fluid simulation. Why would anyone want to do it? Well, I don't know about others, but we have a festival back at home where we splash others with colorful water, so you get the drift. Anyway, in a very non-traditional style, we go ahead and scale the default cube to twice its size in all axes. Next, we scale it to three times its size in the y-axis. Control A and apply the scale. Activate the wireframe mode because we need it. In the physics properties tab, click on fluid and select domain. Liquid there and the resolution as 64. Great, since the domain is ready, we need the inflow now. So shift A to add in a mesh circle. Tap to go into edit mode and F to fill it up. Tap to get out again. Look from the side and R, X and 45 to incline it to the left. G, Y, 5 to push it to the right. And finally, S, 0.5 to reduce the size. Don't forget to control A to apply the scale. Now fluid again in the physics properties, flow instead of domain this time. Flow type liquid and behavior is inflow. Flow source is planar and it needs some velocity so about 10 towards the normal direction seems good. To rinse and repeat, Shift T to duplicate the circle, right click to let it go in place, G, Y, minus 10 to push it all the way to the left, and R, X, minus 90 to have it point towards the right. Once we are done with that, we basically go ahead and create a material. Let's edit this, naming it red because that's real original. Nothing too fancy, just giving it a suitable emission. You can set up one however you like. Add one more, and this time it will be blue I guess. No need for anything else, so let's just remove the blue we just created. Perfect. Now for the domain. We go to the physics properties again, change the end frame so that we can save some time. Type to modular and is resumable. And we bake the data. This always reminds me of myself for some weird reason. Already there is some stuff visible. We also need to bake mesh if you want to see the liquid in action in cycles. Should take twice the time it took to bake the normal data. Now we see more definition. Let's just change the render engine to cycles. And now when you play in render mode, you can see the color and liquid. Good. Now if we need red on one side and blue on the other side, this is what you need to do. Go into geometry nodes and create a new one. How this works is that we need to set the material based on the position of the mesh. Since we have two materials, get the set material node and plug it in twice in series. Select the two materials however you like. Now we need to drive this with a selection. Drag a node out of geometry and look for geometry proximity. Drag a node from the position handle and separate XYZ from that. Since we want the color to change along the Y axis, drag a node out from just the Y handle and feed it into a math node. Change the add to less than or greater than, doesn't really matter. Threshold value 0 so that the change occurs right at the origin point and plug the value into selection. Now if we check out the results, sweet. Let's see what happens when we plug it in the first one. Hmm? Nothing. What if I do this? Ah, that's because the second material is overriding everything. So remember to drive the selection of the last material in this series. Don't forget to like the video if it was helpful and subscribe to the channel for more such content. See you again in the next one. Have a great day.